I'd like to go ahead and uh, for the guys out there in YouTube land who are looking at this video and reviewing it for monetization, I am in a closed range operating in the safe, uh, safe environment. I am not attempting nor am I trying to sell any product in this video. Also, I'd like to point out that I'm using magazines that are less than 30 rounds. These are 20 round mags. So according to your guidelines or community guidelines, I am good to go. So thank you very much for reviewing the video. I look forward to a good partnership between you and me and all of you. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Part two of our production rifle setup. Now, the funny thing is, is that I left my damn good camera back at the apartment, which means you're looking at me via my telephone camera. <laughs> but anyway, we're here to have fun. It's the best time ever. Uh, so what we've got, this is the Econ model. We're going to go ahead and test it out with the 55 grain uh, 5.56 provided to us by the boys over there at Callaway Ballistics. Then we're going to go with some 62 grain uh, green tips and then 77 grain uh, Boattail Hollow Points here. Match Kings, really loaded by yours truly. The idea is we're going to do five round shot groups. Uh, and I've equipped all these rifles with the same magnification scope. Uh, these, I believe, are the four to 16s uh, primary arms. This is their GLX. And I went ahead and uh, bore sighted them. And then I did a three round shot group just to get them really close to where we're shooting. The idea here is we want to check out what the variances are between each one of the rifles and then uh, test them out with the most uh, usual fire, uh, what do you call that, ammunition that we have. So let's go ahead and do this. I am going to start off with the... Uh, 55 grain, which is this one right here. Nope, these guys right here. Yeah, here we go. Callaway Ballistics, 5 grain. And I got a camera down range. We're going to go ahead and start. We're going to do the uh, top target first. So here we go. And again, this is uh, for fun and just to kind of get a measure on where these rifles are uh, individually. So tar top target. I will tell you this, uh, this, this Bear Creek Arsenal barrel does not like 55 grain. Here we go. Yep, you can tell. Man, I, this thing is all over the place. There's a five round shot group. Go ahead and load that back up in here. That is the 55 grain. Let's go with the 62 grain. And I'm using this as a Caldwell tripod. If you guys haven't seen it, you can get them on Amazon. Here we go. Oh, top target. You guys are seeing this the same time I am. Man. Guys. Everywhere. Now I will tell you this. You can definitely tell the difference in the recoil between, say, a uh, flash hider versus something that has the side ports on it. And you'll see that on the, the uh, big rifle here in a minute. Count. Yeah, they're interrupting me. Also, it doesn't help that I'm all over the place with this thing. All right, so these are the 77 green. Shit. 
almost hit my camera. Uh, Alright, yeah. Everywhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump to the middle of the line rifle, which with the ballistic advantage barrels, they, it, there's a huge jump up between everything else. Let's make sure this guy's clear and we are good to go. Stand by. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start off with the Callaway Ballistics. We're going to be shooting at that middle target. Again, we have the uh, Yankee Hill muzzle brake, uh, not the muzzle brake, but the flash hider on this thing. And I believe we can get enough elevation out of this guy. There we go. First round, here we go. Not bad. Two. Three. Not bad, Callaway Ballistics. You're going to like that one. So that was really nice. Uh, this is the... Uh, the the military profile barrel that we talked about earlier. Okay, so I, I just keep track of where we are, where those impacts are, okay? This is going to be the 66 grain. Here we go. digging that. 62 grain, not exactly the most accurate, uh, but the uh, ballistic coefficient in those is, is way better than anything else. Okay, so now we're talking about, this is the 77 grain. Here we go. This is the fun, this is what I love about what we do, right? shot group. If you're shooting with three round shot groups, stop. Do a five round. You're going to thank me later. Uh, it does give you a better representation of what your rifle barrel and everything else and you are capable of doing. Uh, I used to do the three round shot group. Like, Ooh, we're good to go, but we're not. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to try the premium rifle now. Okay. So to start off with, let's say we're using more of a competition style or a muzzle break, if you will. Uh, you're just, if you notice, and we might just do a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm going to show you what the difference is in the recoil in the two rifles just by using this muzzle brake. There's no difference in the spring or buff or anything else. Uh, this has the uh, ballistic advantage premium Hanson barrel. We'll start off with the 55 grain. The guys over there, the Callaway Ballistics, for a discount code KB32 TAC for free shipping on orders over $200. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. And this is a mil dot scope here. This is a really nice scope. We're gonna go with that bottom target. Here we go. And also, a uh, little better trigger on this thing. Shorter reset, that kind of deal. You see the recoil, the difference it makes? And you tell man that uh, the modern uh, military profile it barrel it likes that 55 grain a lot better. All right, we're locking to the rear. That's good. This is the first shots. Actually, I think I just did a function test on this guy a while back. I noticed it was a little wear on the bulk carrier group when I've cleaned it. Okay, so here we go. This is the 62 grain. Oh, they didn't like that. 
that 62 grain. Let's see how it performs with the 77. And here we go. I can't see where the impacts are. There's too many holes. You're seeing them better than I am. I think they're everywhere. Yep. All right. That's it. Uh, interestingly enough, I think the winner on the whole thing is going to be our middle of the line rifle. How about that? Yeah. Overall, that's gonna that's it's a nice assessment, honestly. And but there's really not a whole lot of uh, copper equilibrium built up in these barrels, so that may make a little bit of a difference. But literally, that e the middle of the line rifle did better in a grouping and a accuracy test. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun with for me, except that I forgot my good camera. Uh, with that being said, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. His freedom is not free. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom! That was fun. I may just take that upper and put it on this lower. <laughs> We'd have a nice performer then. Y'all be good.